election of retired Marine General James Kelly to lead the Department of Homeland Security. Trump's national security team is taking shape. Last night at the second stop on his thank you tour, Trump touted the credentials of his choice for defense secretary, retired Marine General James Mad Dog Mattis. Let's get right to CNN's chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo. These are two distinguished generals who are highly regarded on both sides of the aisle. No question. And with these early choices, you're beginning to see some patterns here in the Trump administration. One is a variety of views, backgrounds, uh, resumes, certainly a predilection for generals. You have Michael Flynn as national security advisor, Mattis uh, going pending a waiver to the Defense Department, now General Kelly, as well as two other military men, including Stavridis and Petraeus, under consider consideration for Secretary of State. What you're not seeing, though, is a consistency of point of view on policy issues. In fact, some of them have points of view, it would seem, that are in direct contradiction to those of the President. Partnership. Cheers. He toasted to friendship with China's president in 2012. And now Iowa Governor Terry Branstad is Donald Trump's nominee to be U.S. Ambassador to Beijing. Welcome back to Iowa. The governor and President Xi Jinping have a long relationship. And under Branstad, Iowa's exports to China have grown exponentially. Governor Branstad is an old friend of the Chinese people. But Branstad's friendly approach to Beijing contrasts sharply with President-elect Trump's vow to confront China on trade and national security. United States. Trump's nominee to lead the Pentagon is retired Marine General James Mattis, pending a congressional waiver since he has not been out of uniform seven years as required by law. Mad Dog plays no games, right? Like Trump, Mattis is hawkish on Iran. The Iranian regime, in my mind, is the single most enduring threat to stability and peace in the Middle East. But while Trump has repeatedly praised Russia... Wouldn't it be nice if we actually did get along with Russia? ...and denied that Moscow interfered in the U.S. election despite the assessment of the U.S. intelligence community, Mattis sees Russia and President Putin as a grave threat. Putin goes to bed at night knowing he can break all the rules. Trump's leading choices for Secretary of State also have fundamentally different views of the Russia threat. Mitt Romney famously identified Moscow as America's leading foreign policy challenge during his own run for president in 2012. I'm not going to wear rose-colored glasses when it comes to Russia or Mr. Putin. Another possibility for state, ExxonMobil chairman and CEO Rex Tillerson... The challenging environments of the Russian offshore continental shelf. ...has close ties to Russian President Putin, signing a multi-billion dollar deal with Russia's state oil company in 2011 for exploration in the Arctic. Today, Trump said he is days away from a final decision on his top diplomat. I think fairly close. I think next week will be the time that I announce it. Trump's pick for Homeland Security, retired Army General John Kelly and the president-elect are very much like-minded on another key international security issue, protecting the U.S. southern border, as Kelly testified before Congress in 2015. If a terrorist or almost anyone wants to get into our country, they just pay the fare. Uh, no one checks their passports. They don't go through metal detectors. General Kelly's service marked by perhaps the greatest sacrifice. He is, as we call them, a gold star dad. He lost his son. First, Lieutenant Robert Kelly he was killed in fighting a U.S. Marine in Helmand province in Afghanistan in 2010. That's his grave there. He's buried in Arlington National Cemetery. I was embedded with the Marines in Helmand around the same time. Some of the fiercest fighting in his unit uh, was one of the units that lost the most, uh, the most of its personnel um, in, in Afghanistan of any unit in, in Marines history. General Kelly has spoken very movingly about yes. what it means to be a Gold Star dad. Jim Shudo, thank you so much.